We're making a chocolate cake. All right, so first we have a cup and three fourths of flour. We're gonna pour it into a sifter. Just like that? Yep. Whoops. Okay. And then we're gonna pour the two cups of sugar. And then three four cups of cocoa powder. Last thing, we've got baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Yay! <laughs> okay, now we're going to sift it all <coughs> in this bowl, which might take a while, but I'm going to shake it. Now we have it sifted, and we're going to pour it into this mixing bowl. Let's help. Now we're going to move it over to the mixer and mix on low speed until combined. Alright, now we have one cup of buttermilk. It's milk. Good job. And then we have a half a cup of vegetable oil. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And two extra large eggs. <laughs> We're now going to mix that until it is combined. Now we're going to use our Keurig to make eight ounces of coffee. Now with the mixer on low, we're going to slowly pour in the wet ingredients. The mixer is still on low, add the hot coffee and stir until combined. And make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure everything is incorporated. Now we're going to butter the pan. Make sure you get the bottom and the sides. And now we're going to hand mix it to make sure we got everything mixed in. Can you help me? You got it. I'm going to hold the bowl. And now I'm going to pour the batter into the pan. Can I do it? Well, it's so sad of me. Yummy. Yum, yum. And now we're going to bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Now we're making the chocolate frosting. So the first step is two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature. Okay. 
Now we're going to mix the butter on medium to high speed until it's light and fluffy. And now we're going to add one egg yolk from an extra large egg. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're going to continue mixing for a couple minutes. And now we're going to mix a cup and a fourth of powdered sugar. With the mixer on low, we're going to gradually add the powdered sugar and then mix on medium speed. Okay, we're now going to dissolve one tablespoon of instant coffee powder, which is about three of these, into two teaspoons of hot tap water. We're now going to add 6 ounces of semi-sweet baking chocolate. The store did not have our usual baking chocolate, so we substituted it for these baking chocolate chips, and either one will work. And then you melt it over a hot pan or pot of simmering water until it's melted, and let it cool to room temperature. With the mixer on low, we're going to add the instant coffee and the chocolate. The cake is cooled and now it's time to frost it. We're finished frosting our cake, like and subscribe and I'll show you how to make these chocolate chip cookies.